You could call it a sign of the times we find ourselves in, a heavily guarded California State Capitol building. I don't remember anything like this. At every corner, down every street on the surrounding grid, CHP, SAC PD, National Guard troops, nearly everywhere you look. This is what a well-regulated militia looks like right here. The law enforcement and military presence, the fencing, the barricades, the blocked off streets. I've never seen the Capitol covered with so many police and security and to see um, fence um, all over. Security measures in place based on FBI intel that there could be armed protests in capital cities across the country leading up to and on Inauguration Day. So we asked people what brought them out to the Capitol and how they feel about what they're seeing. It was basically just come out and uh, greet all the soldiers, thank them for their support and their time and effort. I'm really upset that you know, America has come to this. You know, we would need gates and stuff just to keep people from becoming violent over, you know, what makes this country great is freedom. I feel safer that we have the National Guards and the police and that the government is working to collectively to make the citizens of the United States safe. It had to take this for people to wake up and see that we, this has changed us all. 32 years of work in corrections and law enforcement. Never seen anything like this in all my life. It's sad. It's a sad day for America. The preparations nonetheless in place for what may or may not transpire. The bigger picture of what it all means, not lost on these Californians here today. We won't heal overnight. We won't be able to get past this, like in a blink of an eye and a right of a policy or a procedure. Um, we won't be able to sing this completely away, but we can pray and whole work together to try and make this a better nation. At the Capitol, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.